Another lesson from page 1116. Let's go to pages 26 and 27. Uh, my understanding from a teacher who has worked with a lot of students through these geometry paces says this is the hardest part of this pace. Probably causes the most trouble, especially on the checkup and the self-test and the pace test. Okay, so let's uh, get some practice doing this. And I'm going to walk you through the steps. Um, I'm in particular, I'm doing, illustrating on page 27, number three, and the steps are laid out back on page 26. Now, I, to do it on the whiteboard, um, I have to use different tools, like a piece of string represents the uh, compass. All right. <clears throat> so the problem tells us we need to draw x and that we want it to be proportional to A, just like B is to C, all right? So we need to put X on the bottom. And so X is to B as, or else I'm going this way, so X on the bottom. So B, B is to X as C, is to A. B is to X as C is to A. So that's another way of writing it, right? So now I need to draw these two on here in that order, and then I'll go back and draw B on another line, and then we'll find parallel lines and uh, draw C, okay? So I'm going to illustrate the steps on page 26 using uh, the whiteboard here as best we can. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take the cap off my marker. Here we go. So, ah, I'm uh, left, right-handed. I shouldn't be doing it this way, but here we go. So we're going to, whoops. No, I want C first, okay? So I'm going to measure the length of C using the, the point of the pencil and uh, the metal point and then measure that out onto this just random line that I drew. Oh, let me, another tip here. You know, you don't have to do it in the pace. I think you might find it easier if you did each of these on a separate sheet of like typing paper, um, computer paper, and give yourself plenty of room, okay? So I'm going to mark off the length of C, and then C over A. So now I'm going to measure the length of A, and that's going to go from right here to right here, okay? So this is C, this is A. Now, put my compass down, and take a ruler, and now I'm going to connect this endpoint to a line, and honestly, I would not do it too close, okay? Give yourself some room. Again, this is a good reason to do it on uh, a separate sheet of paper. So I'm going to connect the endpoint and make a line segment, okay? <clears throat> now what we're going to do is copy B which we did not do yet, and put B right here. Okay, so B is kind of short. So I'll go from here to right here. All right, here's where it gets fun. So watch this. We're going to connect here to here. Whoop. All right, connect the line there. Now, if I make a parallel line right here, okay, then this line segment will be um, proportionate to this one. But in order to do that, I need to copy this angle here to right here, okay? So let's illustrate that real quick. And of course, it's not going to be very accurate using my handy dandy tools here, but let's try. So I'm going to start here and sweep an arc like that. Come to this point, 
sweep an arc. Then go back and go from here to here, and then from here to here, okay? So this angle here, I want to have equal to this angle here. Can you see that? So I did an arc and did an arc from here and here. Go back and measure from here to here with the points. Do the same distance from here to here. Same procedure we did paces ago in doing uh, copying of angles. <clears throat> All right, so theoretically, if I connect here, and here I'm going to have parallel lines, okay? So if this is B, then I have found now that this would be proportional to X. So this is, obviously B is much shorter than C, and X is shorter than A, okay? So I tried to picture it. Go through the steps. Now you try to do that in your uh, pace, or like I said, on a separate sheet of paper. Um, and hope you do well with that, all right?